Good morning, good morning. Right now, I'm heading out to the city uh, for this one proper manager. They, it was weird, they lost this account. Now they are got new accounts out here. And it seems like the new, um, what do you want to call it? new landlord or customer has a lot lower uh, price margins or it seems more problematic yeah this lady's telling me that uh, um, first she says when you turn on the lights it blows a fuse and I'm like well, what light is it one light or a couple lights and then she's like anytime when you plug something in so when a, this is why i purposely ask questions stories change really fast and so last time they were they were out they changed something so i'm thinking they're just overloading the circuits and uh and the more i'm thinking about it now oh, if i'm just turning a breaker on or just telling them you know, you're just overloading the circuits. I gotta, I gotta give these property managers. Actually, I gotta give these people a call because I'm, I'm dealing with new people in this property management company. So I don't know. They, uh, if it's like a minimum service call, they usually act like it's the end of the world for like a hundred bucks. But right now, I have an hour drive, so. So it's an hour there, hour back, then I got to diagnose. I got to make sure there there's an NTE of like $187. And I don't know if that's even worth it. So I'm going to call these people back up. And if they're saying I'm just turning a break around, they're going to give me 100 bucks, or or it's overloaded. I'm just going to turn a job down. I It's not worth it. And now I'm just realizing this now. I lied. So the NTE on this one is $262. That's all, all that means is, is what I'm allowed to fix for $262 and after that I need to get approval. And I just called them and I'm, I can't get a hold of them. I'm sure they'll give me a call back. I'll get you guys some shots. Nice door. You come in. No. That's a nice door you got here. Thing is heavy duty. That one's gonna take it. Uh, is it okay if I uh, record for YouTube for educational purposes? I like to record for all the fixes I do. Okay. Is that fine? Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. It's okay. Um. So I know I asked you on the phone, but I want to ask you again. Um, so what exactly happened? When mm, she plugged something up in the plug, it's only one socket that we're gonna have in that room. So they plug some, uh, they plug something in. All the lights go out. And the lights go out. Now, do you know what they plug in at all? Um, when she did plug in, she plugged the vapor rub in. Say it again? The vapor rub, it's a machine that will reset the vapor rub machine. Okay. Uh, where's the basement? It's right through the back, right down to that door. I can't walk down there. But it's all, you go down all the way to the back, it's that back room, bedroom. Okay. Can I leave the door open? Yeah. Okay. I guess I should have turned the lights on. I can't see. Where am I going? Ooh. Where am I going? Back room, she said. 
Dude, I need some lights. <sighs> what the crap? Oh, I was like, why do I feel this heat? Um. Okay. There's a vapor roll machine. See vapor. I mean, I see <laughs> petroleum jelly. Uh, vapor rub. I don't know. Maybe it's a dehumidifier. I don't know. Now I gotta find the panel. There it is. That's probably it right there. We got a microwave going. Guess they mean this. Is there any lights in here? Helped out a lot. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, so we got our fridge plugged in. Fridge, microwave, and all this. Close. Uh, so I can charge for that. Fix that for them. Loose outlet. Yeah. Bet you that uh thing is bad. And something tripped and I don't see it. I think that's the one all the way on top on the left. Sometimes they don't go back all the way. Eh, it went back a little bit. Okay. So now we got power there. Again. Okay, we got power to microwave. We're good there. Um, I don't know if this is just overloading the circuit or if this is actually bad or the feeling's bad. I want to plug it into something else. It's another outlet. Yeah, I'm plugging in that thing. It's 
full of water too. This thing's throwing water. I'm sure this thing's bad. I'm sure of it. Crazy. There's no way. This thing is bad. I wonder how old this thing is. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this cords. This cords is warm. Holy crap, unplug this. That thing is bad. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, I should have probably plug that back in, but I just wanna see if this, something's gonna trip. And uh, it didn't trip. But it's bad. This thing is freaking on fire. I should cut this cord right now. I should do. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Screw's broken. I think stripped out. Wow. Oh. There we go. Nope. Freaking hillbillies. Done messing with that to grab my strippers. Get out of there. Pull this out. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I wanted to change the outlet out. But uh the last guys weren't so nice. And if I take this out, I don't think I'm gonna get another one in there. Wow. I 
pretty sure I won't be able to get one in there. Man, this is the first time I've ever seen something wired so tight. You see that? Right now you got Greenfield. They fed it way too far in. Same thing over here. Well, actually this one's not fed in too far. And they literally just went directly in. Directly in. The box is super small. Just turn the power off too. Should be messing with this live. Come on. Man, they jammed that. Jammed it in. No fear. We got baby channel locks. We'll take them. There we go. Unreal. Lucky they didn't uh, stab a wire. Lock nuts loose. And then uh, hammer that down. Uh, okay. That's tight. Let's see if I got these screws. Oh, I'll go to my truck. I should. Problem is I got 3,000 screws in here. Here's the other one. Should be it. Should. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down. Don't make the mistake of feeding in the wrong way. Cause you cut it the wrong way, you fit the opposite way and you cut it. The screw just stays in there. So you have to thread it in. It usually says insert on the one way. And then it'll cut it. It'll shear it right there. Right in the middle of them. So I'm going to say right about there. If you cut them with alignments, what happens is you'll strip it out. Or you'll know, you have like an oblong end. And then... It's gonna strip out the box, the electrical box. Okay, we'll go right there. Nice and tight. And we cleared it. Should probably do it evenly. I just screwed myself. Perfect. Look how cockeyed that is. Pfft. Looks like it's on a 45 almost. Yeah, the box is on a 45. I can't do nothing about it. I can cheat it.
best I can get it. That's all you get. I think that screw's sticking on too far too. Nope. Perfect. Well, cockeye okay, puts a lot of butter. So I had a bad feeling. Every time I go to the city, it just seems like something something's happening to me. Something always happens to me. It's the third time something happened to me. I mean, I don't even go off. I don't go out there that often. I'll go out there for one property manager. First time, somebody hit me, my other truck, hit my basket, and drove off. Second time. Uh, a semi crushed my basket and hit my tail light. And now I drive out to the city and now a rock hit my window and cracked my windshield. So I just kind of like kept my mouth shut um, in the beginning. Yeah, you know, I was running a bunch of problems, you know, obviously. I was just told you, but it was good money. Now there it's not really good money anymore you heard me complaining earlier so i can't really justify going out there you so you know i think the third time's a charm and i gotta cut my losses i don't even know how much this windshield is gonna cost it's a ford f-250 transit brand new truck you know, it's it's really not a big deal. You know, it's a cost of doing business. So it's expected. But every time I go to the city, something happens like this. And I thought it was just my bad luck, but I think uh, he's sending me a sign saying he doesn't want me going out there, which, which I think he's right because I can get ripped off, get my truck broken into. It's not even worth it. <laughs> Big loss on that job today. Wrap it up.